Hi everyone and welcome back to our Tax 1099 channel. So from your dashboard, you're going to go to create a form. And I'm going to choose the 941 next. And this is where I can add my payer. And over on this side, you're going to make sure you choose which quarter you're filing for. The only available quarter so far is the first quarter. And then we come down to start answering questions. My payer has one recipient and I'm going to make that a rich recipient. He made $100,000. And if no wages and other compensation are subject to Social Security or Medicare tax, check this and go to line six. Now make sure you look at everything very carefully because there is a lot of information that they ask for if it's something you need to report. See, if I haven't fulfilled everything, I can't, I can't check anywhere. So here is line six that I cannot click on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down here and click next. This is asking for the deposit schedule and tax liability for this quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and check, check this box if you are a monthly scheduled depositor for the entire quarter, you've got to check this box and then you have to fill this out. This is if your business has closed or you stop paying wages, which is sometimes applicable if you're a seasonal employer and you don't have to file a return for every quarter of the year. Now this is if you have a third party designee, like a CPA, then they would have to click yes and enter their information. And then it asks, are you a paid preparer? A paid preparer would be a CPA or someone like that. So this is all the information that I have filled out so far. And then you're going to check one of these two boxes, whether you're requesting a refund or you authorize them to withdraw um, to the financial institution. I'm going to request a refund because who doesn't like a refund? And then you sign a name here. And then you'll print the name here. I'm just going to use a test name I had here. And then you have to select here if you're a, an individual, corporate, estate authorization. I'm going to choose individual for this form. And then select your title. I'm going to be the owner. And next. So now I can view this form, or I can add another form, or just go back to the dashboard. I'm gonna view my added form. And here it is. Now I can select this form and come over here. And if I'm ready to submit, I can do that. Or I can click this action button to download PDFs, view PDFs, or delete if I made mistakes. I'm going to go ahead and submit. This tells me I haven't chosen either USPS or e-delivery, and I can do that in Manage Forms, um, but I can click OK if I want to notify my recipient separately. And then this tells you when the fire system is down, which of course this is um, the last year's fire system. Now I have to click, I have reviewed and verified the data for submission. 
and click OK. Then I can pay now. Well, first you have to calculate your tax. You have to select an address. Calculate sales tax. And this state doesn't charge any, so I can click pay now. And that's it. My payment was successful. Thanks for watching.